what kind of man do I want to be? Mm. Talking to someone doesn't fix anything. Um, talking to someone helps make sense of things better, especially someone uh, such as a mental health professional who can ask you really insightful questions and make connections along with you. Well, I want to start with saying that uh, men are not all not expressive. So it's like, I, I find I'm it's actually too expressive. <laughs> I, yeah, it's, I, I think it's a myth. I've met a lot of men that are very good at articulating themselves. Um, having said that, these are also men that have learned the vocabulary of being able to express the nuances in their, in their emotions. So instead of just saying I'm angry, sad, or frowny face, there's, there's different levels and nuance to why am I, what is it that I'm angry about? Mm -hmm. um, other words, but, but it takes time to be able to differentiate and use language effectively. But when there's an information overload an emotional information overload, the system can shut down mm. because I don't know how to make sense of it. I don't know what my options are. And so I will want to stop that information or at least try to fix it or stop the discomfort. Um, so a big part of it is just realizing first, uh, I am experiencing this and eventually be able to improve our stamina, if you will, and capacity for, for emotional discomfort. Because from that point on, I can look at it uh, a little bit more uh, slowly and, and intentionally so that I can make a better choice than simply shutting down and, and stonewalling someone. There is the misconception that it has taken place. Mm. I think I've communicated something, I've intended to communicate something, but how it lands with somebody else might be completely different. Mm. And I might have a different perception. I think I've communicated something to you by telling you, you look, you look great in that dress. And you're looking for more, like you want more words uh, to describe what kind of great. Is it like pizza great or is it like, <laughs> You look amazing. We're looking that for that hot... passion, that yeah, that, that emotional that... expressiveness. Yes. Right? yes. Um, and so in, in that person's mind, it's like, I've already told you, you were great. I don't know what you want, what, what else you want me to say. Um, and so there needs to be a communication too of, of hey, I, I, you just said great. So I'm wondering what else you mean by that. And, and but men seem to put up to... barriers when that happens. They can, they can. Um, well, didn't you and, just hear what I said? I said, you're great. And, and, and exactly what you just said yes. is what we come back with. We're like, well, we- It's also a common human, uh, I wanna say error of, but I've communicated it. I don't know why I need to communicate even more. Like you should know what I mean. Um, but I guess part of the, Part of the encouragement that I have for, for people and spe specifically men in general is, is not trying to be right. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be right that I've communicated. I don't know why you need it anymore, but trying to be in relationship. Um, one thing I'll say about vulnerability is it takes practice to stay vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I like so that. if, you know, just all of my work in the past 10 years, I've learned to exercise my muscle of vulnerability. Mm. And so I can stay in discomfort longer than, than most other people, I would say. And if that person, regardless of gender, has not been privy or had had the privilege or experience of a childhood or teenagehood or adulthood of being given space, psychologically safe space to express themselves, what they really think, and not to be made wrong um, and not to, and, and for your feelings to be just accepted as it is without needing to be fixed. Then that person would be more likely to be vulnerable going forward. Um, but without that environment of trust um, in the past, that's where that person will start from is, I, I, I've never felt that. So I don't know why you would want me to be vulnerable. That's too scary. Mm -hmm. I don't have, if I speak, talk about it in terms of data points, I don't have enough data points in my past, in my history of information to tell me that this is safe right now, mm. that I'll be okay. Right. So if I let myself go, I, it might mean because of the past history data points is that if I show, if men show vulnerability, they're going to be seen as weak. Um, mm. 
by both by by all people regardless of gender um mm-hmm. because there is this hyper masculinization of this is what a man should be should look like it's listening and knowing that you don't fully understand that's already uncomfortable it's like someone's talking to you in a different language and you're trying to be as empathetic as you can but you can't understand any of their words and what they mean by it um so staying there to me it's staying there and undivided attention which is a skill in itself and it's sometimes it starts with just that and noticing oh they're really having a hard time here and maybe my presence is what's needed so so that's a hard one because if there's there needs to be communication too of this is what i need from you and being clear on um being clear on how you would like that person to show up for you so what if the person isn't able to then what happens isn't able to what to which show person up. are you talking about so you know what if let's talk about a man what if a man's not capable of going there to show up for in a relationship in the work environment because we're not just talk i say relationships just start with partners it's the relationships you have with your coworkers it's the relationships you have with your neighbor to me relationships are relationships so what happens when they're not capable like you're in a work environment and it's a new culture now where you express what you need what happens when that male isn't able to show up yeah i'd like to, i'd like to separate not able to mm-hmm. which is a skill from not willing to ah okay which is which is a desire or care let's tweak so, that okay <laughs> sure. so you can't make someone do anything if they don't care mm. they will not learn a new skill or a different way of showing up for you if they do not care okay that's a whole other conversation mhm All right, is everybody listening? It is a skill. <laughs> it is a skill. I like that. I I I I do. And and if they are willing and they care, but they are frustrated and they shut down because they're trying and they're not getting it, then then we have something to work with. Okay. We meet them where they're at. And yes, it takes emotional labor. <laughs> um but if the person yeah, actually cares the vocabulary everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um but if you're willing you know you also have to be willing you may not ha- have the energy necessarily to do that emotional labor anymore so then it's 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 a relationship so it's like am i willing to do this for you if you're willing to do this for me toxic masculinity yeah um i've never heard of that oh i well what it means to me is acting in a way in order to preserve my idea of what a stereotypical male is in order to be seen as a man or so it shows up in terms of being invulnerable or expecting your your partner um to do all the emotional labor um around the house or around expressing feelings like you don't understand me you don't know exactly what I'm what I'm feeling right now meanwhile i'm not expressing anything to you at all so how would you know so for me it's it's uh not taking responsibility for my needs don't put all the emotional labor on your partner to have to train you on the emotional vocabulary to have, help you unpack your feelings all the time i'm sure they would be happy to and it's 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 tiring um i mean the same is true for for racial issues it's like do your work don't make me have to train you on why white privilege is a thing you know so it's there's a doing my own work of what what can i learn so that i can work with my partner um better and make it sustainable for them as well to um to work with me on this on this new so- skill there's the last nugget i'll i'll leave you with is it, there's a meeting in the middle you know there's the people that are very articulate very self aware and they can read other people very well there's a there's yes create all the psychologically safe space for that person for for the men to show up more vulnerably and the challenge for the men is to show up more courageously even mm-hmm. if it doesn't feel safe 
and your partner is doing all they can to make it safe for you to express yourself. The, child, the responsibility on men in general is to show up courageously to, um, to express what things you're scared of, mm. not just what you need. Because often um, what we ask for is what we think we need, but underneath there's another layer of, there's a fear that I have, especially when um, men are expected to be all these different things in order to be considered even a man. Mm. 